Hello my friends and welcome to Diamond Delights. My name is Gail and I am so happy that you popped on by to watch my video. Um, so this is a post review of my recently completed kit from Diamond Art Club. Um, it's not really a very recent finish. I did finish it on the 16th of October. So it has been sitting for a little bit for me, waiting for me to film. Um, I've just ran out of time and energy. So I'm finally filming it for you now. Um, so I do apologize for the bit of a wait for this one. Um, but welcome. Um, now let's just go over the stats for this kit. Um, so I did buy this one from Diamond Art Club um, it's called Fleeting and Forever the artist is Katie Bergren and the people that made it and sold it and legally licensed this kit is Diamond Art Club um, so I'm reading from my new logbook which I did share a video of it my log, new logbook recently so I will link that down below for you as well if you want to go check it out um, but this kit is 56 centimeters by 56 centimeters so it was a nice square shape the diamonds are round um, there were 42 colors with four ABs um, the amount of drills, I did make a bit of a boo-boo here in my logbook, but I will fix that later. Um, it was 39,601 drills. It's a full drill canvas type. And by my, my sort of thoughts on this kit, I think it's a, for an intermediate level, um, diamond painter. But this is just my my completely my opinion um i do just want to disclose that this is also all my thoughts and my opinions about this kit um it is highly personalized to me in no way am i being paid by anyone or by dac for these thoughts and opinions um this is just just for purely my channel it's not for any monetary gain at all just for my channel i wanted to share my experience and my love of this kit for you um so i did start this on the 2nd of october 2022 and i finished it on the 16th of october 2022 so it took me 14 days to work on and I use the Gems Flow app to log my hours and my, my minutes and things. Um, but I am completely roughly estimating that time. Um, so it worked out to be about 39 hours and 43 minutes. But 14 days max. Um, and I absolutely loved working on this kit. Absolutely loved it. Um, so if you don't also don't know what gems flow is I will link that down below for you if you want to go check that out it's just a an app you can get on your on your phone that logs your diamond paintings and you can put pictures on there you can log the hours that you work on a specific kit you can put in all your like your stash paintings and it's a very very cool app I really love using it so I will link that below for you um, now let me get into this a little bit more in depth um, I will do a nice pan over at the end for you so you get the full effect of of it but I loved this kit I absolutely loved it and adored it and it was such a pleasure and a dream to work on um, I really enjoyed that it was a bit of a smaller size um, it's not super small 
but it's not super big it was a really nice in between size but the sizing you still got the beautiful effect of the artwork um, I thought it was just perfect all around um, I also think this was it was a newer kit so I think it had the little um, the tighter drill field that Diamond Art Club have been working on I'm pretty sure this kit had that in it like the tighter drill field and the in-house made diamonds um, I noticed when I was working on this and using my multi-placer um, I found like I didn't need to like when you place the drills down on the older wider spacing kits, kits um, you do have to kind of move the drills a lot more um, to make sure they're on the round guidelines um, but I found with this kit when I used my multi-placer I didn't have to do that um, so that was just such a joy um, it made it that much more pleasurable to work on and the experience was just beautiful um, because you didn't have to go back in and sort of move the the drills around um, so I'm pretty sure it's got the the tighter drill field on this kit and I also think it has had the new in-house made diamonds um, because the quality was just impeccable it really was um, there was hardly any trash whatsoever um, so this is my little trash container that's all I got from this kit um, so let me just open it up a little bit more for you so it had the usual suspects um, it had ones with holes in if you can see those it had ones with holes um, it had these little weird extra bitsies whoa now I've just pinged it somewhere where did that go Yeah. Um, it had a few tabby bits on them um, yeah but not as much as I would say the older Diamond Art Club kits have um, the drills were just beautiful to work with and yeah hardly any trash whatsoever I had plenty of drills left over as well. I didn't run out of any color. Um, <clears throat> and so if you did want to look at getting this kit, I will go through like color blocking and confetti. Um, but this kit was completely confetti. Um, so if you don't like confetti at all, I don't recommend you getting this kit um because the whole thing is just confetti there was no spaces where there were, was color blocking at all as you can see from the picture like even there here it's just multiple colors um everywhere their faces multiple colors is just but the if over the effect is just gorgeous um now the we had four ABs in this kit um, so I will show you where those are now I'll show you in my book so there was an orange a green like a pale um, I'd say cream color and then a purple um, so the orange the orange was mainly in the flowers um, so if you see in here all through the flowers there was those beautiful beautiful ABs all in the flowers here if you see the difference between these drills and this drill that's the difference of the ABs and the normal color just gives that extra 
special shimmer to them. Um, there was also mostly in all the flowers. So there's also some in this flower, just all along there. There's some in the the mother's shoulder here for her dress, the strap of her dress. There's a few in there. Um, there's also a few in the girl here. So all along there was ABs. You see that beautiful extra shimmer? There it is. That is so gorgeous. Um, also down in these bottom flowers here. Um, so that was the orange AB. Now the green AB was mainly up in the... Um, in the left hand corner here and all this all the confetti of the the trees so there was a whole lot all in here see that all along here um so i'm guessing it's sort of like the leaves in that area there there was a little bit over here Um, so there wasn't too much green. There's not an overall huge amount of ABs in the kit. Um, they were just in strategic places. Um, so then the, the cream coloured AB. Let me see if I can find it. I can't actually remember where it was, to be honest. Okay, it was in her, the daughter's hair. So all these little bits here was the sort of the cream AB. If you can see that in there. Um, and that was pretty much it oh and also in the mother's hair as well over on this side here if you can see that kind of see that shimmer there so in the mother's hair um, and then the purple AB was also in the flowers. So it's caught that really nicely there. And in here in the flowers, all along here, just sort of emphasizing those beautiful, beautiful, I think they're frangipanis. Those beautiful flowers. Um... Where else? There was a few also in the arm here. I guess just highlighting her arm. There was a few also down in here. Just scattered throughout here in this nice pretty pale section. There was also some in her hair. Um, and the flowers this side here as well. There were some green ones here as well. So those pretty ABs in there. And they just catch the light in a different way and just pull your eye to that area. And it's so, so beautiful. Um, I did forget to mention some of my other favourite bits of this kit the whole thing in general really was my favorite but I did love these flowers up in the corner here the way they were just rendered and they just stand out the ABs in them um, and I don't know if it's just me but their faces and their poses of the this mother and daughter um, I know the artist uh, Katie Bergeron does actually state that this is 
a mother and daughter um, because she is an artist who draws a lot of sort of family paintings um, with children and parents um, so this is definitely a mother and daughter um, but I don't know every time I look at it I just get it just elicits so much feeling in me like the way their eyes are closed the little girl's hands and arms up around mum's neck um, the little I think they're having a little smile the way their hair is entwined and going into a heart um, and also in the middle part here the way the the mother's arm is just draped across the daughter's body I just oh it, I don't know it just feels so much <clears throat> Yeah, and the way it's just tapers off at the end here, like they, they look like they've got little ghost bodies, but it's just so flowy, and Diamond Art Club really captured that flowiness, <laughs> if that's an even word. Um, so this is the, the artist's painting, and it's just... The way DAC has rendered it, in my personal opinion, is absolutely perfect. Perfect. They've captured that flowiness, the eeriness of the painting, and the feeling in it. Um, the absolute love you can see on these faces. I mean, it may just be me. And I may be talking a lot of rubbish, but but I really get a lot of feeling from this painting. Um, and just a little bit of background. I do have uh, just the one daughter, the one child. Um, and I have a daughter. So as soon as I saw this painting, I thought, oh my goodness, it is me and little Isabella. And I had to have it as soon, as soon as it was released. I had to have it. Um, now, I did make a little change to this kit. I added my own little, um, what's the word? My own little enhancement onto this kit. Um, and it is down in the bottom. If you notice... Um, on the main picture here, it does have this little bit of extra blackness here. Um, so in that part, I did put me and my daughter's name. So I put Isabella and Gail A for our surname. Um, I did want to put a little bit more information in there. But when I actually came to doing it, um... It was really hard to do um yeah i found it super super hard to do so i've just put our names in capital and our surname i did want to put maybe some dates our our birth dates or anything but i found that there wasn't quite enough room and i didn't want to squish it up and make it look horrible um so that's all i put and i did it in capitals because <laughs> i really couldn't figure out how to do it in lowercase it just was not working for me um this is my first ever enhancement to a kit um so i did struggle so i did the best i could um but i really like it i really love how it turned out and that it really pops out i just used the white drill that was that came with the kit um and i think it looks really cool i really really love it um so yeah let me know your thoughts below i really struggled with the s <laughs> so it doesn't kind of still looks like an s but i did the best i could um so yes um if there's anything specific you would like to hear about this kit let me know down below and i can let you know um <clears throat> but 
I usually tell you a little bit of what if I didn't like something or I didn't feel something fitted in a kit or it wasn't to my taste but honestly there is nothing in this kit that I didn't like or I was uncertain of or I felt wasn't to my taste. I loved everything about this kit. Um, at the moment it is out of stock in Diamond Art Club um, but if you do go on you can put your email address um, in there and you can click the notify me button and it will let you know once it is back in stock. So if you like the look of this I highly suggest you do that. <coughs> Excuse me. I highly suggest you do that because it is beautiful it works up really quickly and it just looks stunning um so thank you so much for joining me for this post review i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it helpful for if you wanted to buy it and you wanted a little bit more thoughts on it um so thank you so much for joining me and um don't forget to like and subscribe if you liked the video and hopefully i will see you soon in another video Anyway, thanks a bunch, guys. Stay safe, be kind, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.